Thanks again for tuning back into the channel. This is the second video from AI RT, or from myself, but talking about another piece of the software. Now, this week's video is AI RT Image Enhancer, and I'm going to put the website up on the page so that you can see it and you can go and check it out for yourself. I have included lots of examples for this as well, and it's absolutely brilliant to work with for low-res images, for phone images, for mid-journey images, and it produces great results, right up to 8K. With the video, you're going to see various images right throughout, and I've included chapters just in case you want to jump through. I've went into some detail about it, and then provided other image examples, and then how to save the files at the end. So hopefully you get something from this, and hopefully it piques your interest. Let's dive right in. As it's AI, this next image seems to be the best one to use for this. So we have here a mid-journey generated Terminator skeleton. And as you can see, it's loading the AI models. Now the process for this, it does, depending on the size of the image, can take a little while, but and other times, depending again on the size of the image, which is displayed down below, can be really, really quick. It just depends on the size of image that you are bringing in. Now, I'm using Midjourney for this, just so that you can see everything in here. And I'll actually, I'll drag that down a bit so that we have the reel down here, the film slide down here, shall we call it. And we can look around the image and you can see the before and the after, and you can see how much that's actually cleaned that up. Now, for compositing, this is absolutely fantastic. I like the roughness of that image, but that's mid-journey generated. But for compositing, this is absolutely fantastic, the details that it brings out. Now, I have used the AI model, AIGC Smooth version 3. I can go in and I can use more detail, GAN version 3, smooth difference, real photo, but this isn't a real photo. So what I'm going to do is just to let you see the more detail and let it run through this as well, because you have a few different options that you can use and that you can choose from. So here you can see again, this is the more detail GAN version 3. So let's just run it back through. I'm not saving any of these, I'm just doing it so that you can see the difference. So we've got that there, it's already process that because I'm now just jumping through and you'll also notice that I've got two pass processing on if I turn that off it will run it again you get a higher detail I find with the two pass you've got that is still there and you can see the difference there as well without laboring the point I'll go for two pass there to there now normally when I've run any images through this I've run them through the two pass, and where I'm looking just now is around the eyes. You can see all the detail here with the light. See there? And the eyes. So I prefer using this with the two pass, and that's the smooth as well. That's what I've run most of my images through because I can deal with any sharpness in that later in post. Now we have the upscale two times, four times, 8K, 4K. So let's run it through a 4K upscale just to let you see how this is as well. So this is it upscaled to 4K. Now for me, I don't need this, but perhaps you do. And that's the good thing, you have the option. And then the export settings. I can choose an 8-bit PNG, 16-bit PNG or a JPEG. 300 DPI, which I can change as well, depending on where you are using this and what you're going to be using it for. The larger value here, 100, equals a larger file and better quality. And then your output path is wherever you want to save these images. So I'm going to click Run let you see how long it takes to run this. So it was originally, there you go, 
So here we have the two images. That one there's at 49% and this one here is at 97%. So you can see it's not too much of a jump in file size in this instance. It's 1.5 megabytes to 2.4, but I've only doubled the size, but the detail that it has brought out and the smoothness of it, this is a more usable file than this one. Of course, you'll get different results with different images and different sizes of images. And that's the good thing about it. They can be refined and you can take them to the point that you want them to be. Depending on how much detail you wish, you can actually, you can adjust everything to suit the type of image and the type of feel for the image that you are going for. And these few examples that I have for you, I've used different types of images just to let you see how much everything can be refined and how much upscaling you can use and just to get to the type of finish that you are after for your images. You can see the difference in the fur depending on how I adjust the settings within the software itself. And one thing that I would like to point out about this software, it's all run from your computer. It is not cloud-based. And that is a major advantage when you are doing this type of work. You are not waiting on anything processing, uploading to the cloud and processing. It's all happening depending on the hardware in your computer. And as you can see here, I have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 or 1560 and that's the processor that it's using to process these images and the results I'm getting, I'm getting them really fast and I'm getting the type of results that I am after. This is a downloaded image from the website Pexels. So this is an actual photograph of a woman in a swimming pool and you can see the difference here even at two times and that's it with the more detail GAN version 3 and the AIGC Smooth version 3 as well. Even taking it up further in size, it's given me great results. So you can see how this would work for photographs as well and provide you with the results that you are after. And even for mid-journey generated sci-fi floating cities, it provided fantastic results, enough of a definition to allow me to create a composite out of the image once I had run it through AI Arte Image Enhancer. These four images here are the size that I set up for social media, in this case 2000 pixels long edge, so whether that's going to Instagram, Facebook, wherever it's going onto my website, it doesn't matter. That's the size that I work with when I'm exporting. So I have this set up here, which is AI GC Smooth version 3, upscale times 2, more detail GAN version 3. And you can see the difference there already. Even if I zoom into this chart here, watch the difference there. So you can see that there, even from this, which is the 2000 pixels that I upload by, it has made a massive difference to that, has denoised it, smoothed everything out. Works really, really well and I am more than happy with it. If you look at that there, let's just take a look at her face just to be see. So we have that and it's smoothed it right out. So yes, you can see that it actually, let's have a look at the grass. There's the grass there, it's taking all the noise. Now noise is something that I add into my composites to help them blend better. So that's, that's actually removing it as well. And it's done a fantastic job of it. Another thing I would like to point out about AI Arte Image Enhancer is I have four 
images down here in my film strip, film reel. And if I click run, it will export all four. And if I have more images in here and I press run, it will export them all at the settings that I have. But if I only want to export one of them, just right click on it and it'll export that individual image for you. So hopefully that lets you see if this software, this AI driven software is going to be a part of your workflow. Now I've put all the links down below in the description and you can go in and check it out for yourself. The follow up video to this one is the AI image matting. Now if you struggle with masks and Photoshop or cutouts or fine hair, anything like that at all, product photography, getting clean cutouts, that is a video to look out for as well. Thanks again for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.